G'day guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, today I'm heading up, it's late in the afternoon and I'm heading for a walk up to Mount Painter and uh, Mount Painter is one of the smaller mountains here in Canberra and I did a recce here a couple of weeks ago and uh, the views from the top of the mountain are quite spectacular. You almost get 360 degree views through the entire valley that Canberra sits in and uh, I'll put a link up top to uh, some of the videos where I've shot Mount Painter in the past but I've used it as the focal point or the point of interest in my video. So today is a little bit different in that I'm going to head up and shoot from the top of Mount Painter. Anyway, I'm just heading up the walking trail now. Uh, there's a bit of, bit of wind blowing so could be interesting up the top and uh, I guess it's one of those challenges I'll have to deal with if and when I get up there. Anyway I'll keep pushing on up this trail and uh, get up to the top and see what I can find. So the reason I'm taking a walk up to um, Mount Painter this afternoon is that the, the sky out to the west is fairly clear but there, there's some clouds down south hanging over the Brindabella Mountains and so I'm hoping as the sun sets that uh, it'll cast a bit of beautiful light on those clouds and on all the valleys of the, the Brindabella Mountains and down the valley of Canberra. Uh, I've just reached the gate at the bottom of the mountain and uh, I'll make my way up the trail now and uh, I'll uh, stop and have a talk to you again once I get up to the top. So I made it up to the summit in pretty good time. I took the shortcut up here. A bit of hard work, but it was worth it to get here before, before sunset. Uh, I've had a bit of a scout around. I think I've found possibly two compositions. And uh, this first one, I'm, I'm just using uh, a series of layers of boulders on the side of the mountain to uh, act as a kind of leading line and frame the mountains off in the distance in the Brindabellas. And hopefully these mountains will catch a bit of beautiful side light uh, once the sun gets down on the horizon and also uh, hopefully that, that sun will also light up the clouds that are sitting above those mountains. I'll just set up the camera now and uh, then talk you through the settings. So I've chosen to shoot this composition with my 70-300 to 300 lens. So I thought I'd play around with the uh, 
depth of field in this shot and uh, kept my aperture fairly wide open, uh, probably looking at around the f4, f5.6, 6.3. Hopefully this will give me some really dramatic depth of field with the, the boulders in the foreground are kind of out of focus. I feel like the composition I've chosen, I've got the, the boulders framing the image in the foreground and it's quite, quite nice to accentuate that depth of field with the boulders um, slightly out of focus and then the focus becoming sharper through the image to the mountains in the background. Anyway, look, I'll play around with this a little bit uh, as the sun's going down and uh, towards the end I might open it up, or close it down rather, and uh, shoot f11, f13 and some longer exposures as the light gets lower. The light's pretty much disappeared from the scene now as it's set in behind the Brindabellas. Um, and most of the light, dynamic light, in the scene that I'm photographing is, uh, is pretty much gone. I'll hang around for a little bit longer, but then I might pack up the camera and uh, head back down the mountain. And um, I'll put some of the images I shot here this afternoon up on screen. And I hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Cheers.